Hey there everyone, sorry I missed a video yesterday. Uh, I've been working on a bunch of commissions and that's kind of why I've been doing quick and fast uh, doodles because I want to get the video done, but then I also have a lot of stuff to do, so yeah. So yesterday, just the day got away from me. Um, it was, uh, I got some uh, basically changes, not last, they weren't really last minute changes, they were just like the final fixes. And uh, so those files got out, but it was pretty late and then the video would have been it would have been midnight or, or later. So I decided rather than crash it out or crash out myself, <laughs> I would uh, just focus on, you know, getting it done. And then today I'm going to probably shoot a couple videos and you'll get one today. And then uh, I just got to try and catch up for, for the new, there's a few more commissions I have to do before I can say, whew. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, today is a, like I said, this is another simple one. Uh, it's uh, basically uh, how to draw a big red button. So, um, and uh, you get to push it and imagine wonderful things. So that's what it is, it's an imagination button. So um, stay tuned, I'm gonna do the pencils, inks, and colors, and should be another fast one. But uh, stay tuned, thanks a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start out with my uh, mechanical pencil that's got a 2B lead in it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but basically we're just making a big button. Just a cylinder, and then um, put the word push on it. And then I think uh, make it look like it's got some kind of machinery. Some rivets, which are basically just circles. Uh, let's give it an extra dimension. And yeah, that's it. So it's going to be, like I said, pretty simple. And then uh, let's maybe let's do a burst. And then down here is now. Imagine something, oops, ran out of space. Wonderful. Okay, so I've obviously got some spacing issues here. So um, I think what'll happen is shrink up the now, and then the imagine moves over. Let's erase it out. Find my eraser. So we want a smaller now. Imagine. <laughs> I'm gonna be too small now. Something. And then wonderful. Make it big and stretched out. So, I'll do it lightly. There we go. Okay. Now, for inking, I'm going to go with uh, a 0.7 Molotov black liner, which is pigment based, nice thin, nice line. I didn't follow it all the way around because I'm going to cross hatch that so that it looks more like a rounded off button as opposed to. Ooh, looks like I got these lines. But that's okay. The rivets are circles or ellipses. And then let's put get the push on here. Okay, now imagine something wonderful. 
beautiful. So I know what to do. Point seven. Okay, I'm gonna get the point four for some cross hatching and the burst. Go for the burst. And then I think I want to just a little bit of a curve here. metal plate all right I kind of see this as being a tool for somebody to use all the time put it up on their put it up on the fridge press the button imagine something wonderful maybe it's a milkshake maybe it's that last piece of cake that you left in the uh, left in the fridge because uh, I didn't want to eat the whole thing the day before. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think it's ready for color. All right, I want to do a big red button. So I'm going to get some different colors of red here. And let's see what I can do here. Okay. So uh, I, want, I want the... Uh, Side to be red. But then I also want to have a little bit of a highlight along the edge. So I'm going to try and avoid this, this zone when I color. But if I don't, not the end of the world. We'll put the heart in while I've got this poppy red out. Okay, now I've got a slightly darker red. That's the chili red. I'm going to kind of put it to one side so I've got a little bit of a gradation. Kind of fill it in where the cross hatching went. Put a little bit at this edge. Up with some more some shapes in the room, and then the darkest red I've got, which is more of a purple, really, is the Shiraz. There we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. I want the red to, the red to be richer in the middle here, so yeah, a little bit more red red. So, it's, so there's no doubt. Okay. Maybe uh, oh I won't worry about putting any under here. I think I'll, what I'll do is when I have some on my brush, I'll smush it into the into the bottom area so that it looks like there's a little bit of reflected light. We got the Payne's Gray. Okay. Oh, and then uh, since this is a red button, let's uh, make this burst a little red. Bleed like crazy. That's fine. And I want a little bit extra color. Let's 
black with the blue coming the other way. Table's moving. <laughs> I'm trying to keep a curve like there's a like the lights. Some of this will end up showing up in the uh, when I hit, hit it with the water because it won't all won't all dissolve. But that's okay. All right. Oh, now I gotta hit it with the water. Not done yet. Okay, break out the water. Get my paper towel ready. See if there's any color left over. And let's turn it upside down so I can do the blue. And I turned it upside down just because it's easier for me to um, see those edges and get things to. Also, I'm working on an angle so the water kind of flows towards the top of the page as opposed to the bottom of the page. You can see the scribbles still show up a little bit, but I think it adds to the cartooniness of the, of the entire thing. that I can't see because the camera's in the way. Bring off the blue. And bring in some of the red for the coloring. This to look like it's a glow as opposed to just kind of a bursty glow. This is where it's going to get we probably could have left some white at this edge. Side edges here. Get pop a little bit more. Or I should say, it's just wet enough so I can put some more color down and not have to worry too much about re wetting it. more 
well, I want a little blue down here, so I'm going to put a line. Underline wonderful. Kind of move yourself down the page a little bit. There you have it. Push. Now imagine something wonderful. There you have it. Another quick one. Push. Now imagine something wonderful. So I think that could be a nice little trigger for yourself. Um, maybe you don't have to create one for yourself that you don't have to send around. Just every so often, mash your thumb down on a piece of paper and imagine something wonderful. So uh, times like this, it, you know, imag keeping your imagination full of wondrous things is always a good thing. And uh, for me, it's, you know, sometimes it's getting together playing Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. It's making these videos, creating these cartoons, um, gearing up for uh, my next big push for paintings and uh, finishing up commissions. So um, really having fun. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm doing some quick ones right now because I'm trying to push through on my to-do list for other people. And uh, once I do that, uh, I'm hope actually one, one of the things I wanna do is I wanna build up a buffer so that I have about a week to um, basically just straighten things out spring cleaning a little bit and uh, um, clear out the clutter from my room and my mind. So um, well, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun too. Uh, love you all. Thanks again. Take it easy. Ciao.